All right, guys, Mark Boy 316 here with another video. Today is going to be WCW Spring Stampede 1994 uh, review. And the opening match with Johnny B. Bad and Tom and Douglas Page. Great opening match. Uh, Page uh, gets the win with uh, Sunset Flip off the top rope. But. Uh, DDP had most of the match, but the bad end ends up winning, so good match. And then in the back, he challenges the winner between Mura and Austin for the U.S. title later in the night. So that's pretty cool. Then we had the television title on the line, Regal defending against Brian Pillman. And there was some backstory to this where uh, Pillman had had beaten up uh, Pillman on the WCW Saturday night. So... This was a 15-minute time limit match, and it went the, the distance. Great technical match. Regal was stretching Pillman every which way, uh, trying to keep Pillman grounded. And then Pillman started hitting some drop kicks and cross bodies. And uh, uh, towards the end, it was uh, I liked the, the drama with these drama with the time limit draws. It's awesome. And then uh, Pillman uh, gets a suplex from the outside back in, goes for the cover, and then the time limit runs out. So. Uh, Time limit draw, Regal retains the TV title. Uh, then we go into a freaking phenomenal uh, match. Chicago Street Fight. Non-title, the Nasty Boys are the tag champs, but this is a non-title match against Max Payne and Cactus Jack. Fantastic. False count anywhere. He beat each other in the, up to the souvenir stand on the ramp using uh, tables, trash cans, uh, slams off the ramp, uh, hockey sticks, or whatever they had, they had there. A whole bunch of different stuff and sho shovel and oh my god and that's how it ends with one of the nasty boys clocking uh, uh, Cactus Jack with one of the sh uh, with a shovel and uh, pins them on the on the floor and then they have to be have helped back out to the back nasty boys pick up the win fantastic street fight uh, then we go to the match with a US title we get Muda and Stone Cold uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin Sunny Steve Austin defending the US title against the Mu Mu Great Muda Great match here too. Uh, Austin's trying to figure out how Muda Muda works. The uh, great mat wrestler doing high aerial aerial moves. Does the handspring elbow in the corner. Handspring elbow in the corner. Uh, Muda working on on Austin on the ground. Just some great stuff and uh, awesome awesome uh, match here too. It goes uh, to the end where Austin backdrops Muda over the top rope, or Muda backdrops uh, Austin over the top rope. And disqualification, and Austin retains by DQ. Great match. I always like Great Muda. Fantastic stuff. Uh, then we get to a bunkhouse match. Now this was fantastic. Both men were bleeding. Dustin Rhodes and Bunkhouse Buck. They hit each other with with two by fours, uh, belts. They whipped each other with with the belts. Uh, salt in the face, or powder in the face. Uh, my God, just a brutal beating. Like wow. Uh, Fantastic bunkhouse match. Anything goes. Uh, boots, cowboy boots, and everything. Finally ends when Parker hands uh, bunkhouse buck a looks like a brass knuckle or a roll, roll of coins. Couldn't quite see, but he hit him square in the face. And bunkhouse box beats Dustin Rhodes in the bunkhouse match. Great match. Uh, then we get Sting versus Rude for the international heavyweight title. And uh, again, great match here. And uh, Sting gets pretty much most of the opening ma opening part of the match with slams and 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 uh, body slams and stuff. But before the match, Harley Race comes out and challenges the winner of this match and gets attacked by Sting. And then uh, he jumps rude at the beginning of the match, uh, bag drops and hip tosses and slams off the top and stuff like that. And Rude finally gets an advantage and uh, starts working on Sting on the leg and and working on uh, on Sting and it ends with uh, Harley Race coming back out and Vader uh, the ref gets a ref bump in the corner Stinger Splash uh, sandwich between Rude and, and the buckle and ref is down so uh, Sting gets rid of Race and then uh, uh, Sting gets rid of uh, Vader and then Race uh, comes in tries to clock Sting with the chair hits Rude by accident Sting covers him one two three new international champion Sting. They have to help Rude to the back, and then in the back you see Rick Rude all mad and upset and tries to go after Rude, uh, Vader, and then race. 
pretty pretty good match there too. So far, great matches. Uh, then we get to uh, another uh, good match. Vader and the boss, who was the big boss man. Hard hitting match here. Holy crap. Fighting on the ramp again. Vader tries to dive over the ropes back into the ring. The boss counters with the knees to the midsection. Uh, great match here. The boss, hard hitting matches. Body slams Vader. Back suplexes Vader. Uh, Vader hits, uh, catches boss and off the top with a power slam. Uh, does the Vader bomb. The boss kicks out. Uh, finally climbs the top rope, hits the Vader moonsault, fantastic move, look, look great for 450 pounds, Vader gets the win. And then in, in uh, after the match he attacks uh, Harley Race with the nightstick and the handcuffs, and in the back Nick Bonkman goes strips him of the boss name, the, takes away the handcuffs and the nightstick. So, uh, but he, uh, after that he'd be known as the Guardian Angel I think, I do believe. So, uh, that was a good match too, and then uh, finally that main event. Over 23 minute match, Ric Flair defending the WCW title against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Fantastic freaking match. Of course, fast paced. What, what you can expect with, with Steamboat hitting the chop off the top rope, uh, body slam and press slam on Flair. Uh, Flair working the knee during the match, trying to set up for the figure four. Just some great stuff. And finally ends with Steamboat picking up in that double arm chicken wing. Uh, falls back with Flair. Both. Uh, guy's shoulders on the mat and the referee counts three and it ends up being a double pin draw so that means the title stays with flair great freaking match this was a fantastic event i'm gonna give this a there was not a bad match on this card i'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 fantastic pay-per-view right here this was great uh, highly recommend you go uh, on the network if you have a copy of the vhs or the dvd go uh find it great match great event so, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.